next station is Upminster, where this train terminates. Change for London Overground and National Rail Services. Please take your belongings with you when you leave the train. All change. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Welcome to Upminster. Well, we've come to the end of the line. Well, the end of the district line. Isn't that right, Paul? Yes, we certainly have. And it's an absolutely glorious day. And the thing about Upminster is it's actually got quite a good shopping scene, including its own department store, Rooms. And I see it right now. And like all good department stores, there is a fashion and home department at Rooms. Well, it's got a lovely little high street here at Upminster, doesn't it, Paul? I think that there's a lot of independent shops. Yeah, there's a co-op as well. There's a Costa if you want a cup of tea. And later on, we will be paying a visit to one of our favourite cafes. It's iconic in Britain. It's the Wimpy. Oh yes, please. Who fancies a big bender? I know I do. <laughs> Look, Marcus, there is a rooms, furniture and interiors. Well, this Just is here. how department stores used to be. They would have maybe like more than one um, premises in the same town. And this is like really harking back to days of, uh, of yore. Oh my God, Paul, look, look, look. What? Brew dog is coming. Now, what actually attracted me to this building was it says it's the, oh. well, it wasn't the dog, no, it was the National Westminster Bank. That is oh, the, wow. you can see the the imprint of the old sign. Not West it is today, but way, way back, it used to be called the National Westminster Bank. And the building is being repurposed as one of our favorite pubs, Brewdog. Lots of lovely little independent cafes like this Coffee Bloom here. And of course, Upminster has one of our favourite retailers, Waitrose. So I think we just have to pop in and do our shopping. Yes. The history of Upminster tells of a shift from rural village for agriculture to a garden suburban town part of the London borough of Havering in 1965. Upminster is one of the wealthier areas of the borough located at the end of the district line. There is an array of independent retailers including the department store rooms of Upminster. This is what I used to get at the Wimpy and Coal Rain. On a Saturday afternoon, my mother would take me over and this was like in the 70s, so I was like maybe seven, eight, nine years old. And we'd always get the Wimpy Grill. And then the Wimpy closed. 
So I'm so glad that Wimpy is still thriving over here in England. Lovely ice cream. Well, just before we left Upminster, we thought, well, we've got to go into rooms and see if there's anything that we like. So we did make some purchases. What did we get? Well, we'll just leave that up to your imagination, but it's a fantastic store. So pay it a visit. Yes. Thank you for watching our show today. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Welcome to Barking. Well, there's a real sort of Whitechapel feel to Barking, isn't there, Paul? It certainly is. Uh, it's got all the range of outdoor market, outdoor types. market type stalls and everything that we saw in Whitechapel. It's a very sort of traditional East London feel. Well, if you're looking for a little bit of peace and quiet, why not pay a visit to St. Margaret's Church at Barking Abbey? Ah, come and have a lovely little relaxing walk, Paul. Isn't this nice? The sun is shining, the air is still, all is quiet and peaceful. You can't get much better than this. Oh look, a lantern, my favourite. Barking was originally settled as a fishing village and was known for its historic inns. Barking Abbey, a former monastery, is quite famous. It's known as one of the most important nunneries in the country. Although most of it is now in ruins, its partially restored Grade 2 listed tower is beautiful and is next to St. Margaret's Church, a Grade 1 listed building. It's also featured on the coat of arms of the borough. If shopping is what you are after, you should head over to the Vicarage Field Barking Centre. Are you looking for your nuts?
Oh look, she found it. She found her nuts. Did you see our squirrel friend? No. Oh, well, you'll just have to watch back later on. Now it's your time to get involved with the channel. Where would you like to see us on the tube? Just drop a line in the comments section after watching today's show. Thanks very much.